that jet up there, I have a question for you. How long does it take for the sound from that jet up there to reach us down here? Well, Larry, sound travels at 1,100 feet per second. So if that jet's a mile up in the air, the sound takes just five seconds to reach us down here. But how do we know that? Well, we can prove it using an echo off one of these rocks. If we make a loud noise somewhere near the rock, the sound will travel to the rock, bounce off it, and some of the sound will travel back to us. That's what we call an echo. We can measure the distance the echo traveled and the time it took, so we can calculate its speed. Here's a spot with a good echo, and I've measured the distance to that rock, and it's 650 feet. But we still don't know how long it takes for a sound to get from us to that rock and back. That's right, but you're going to time it. Professor Taylor was prepared. He had a track gun with blanks to make a loud noise and a stopwatch to measure the time. Because the echo would return quickly, we used a couple of countdowns to get into the rhythm. Then on the third count, we hit the stopwatch for real. One, two, three. It took 1.2 seconds for the sound to go from us to the rock and back. Good, then we can calculate the speed of sound. We know the distance to the rock is 650 feet. Therefore, the sound travels 1,300 feet total to the rock and back again. You clock the time for a round trip at 1.2 seconds. Therefore, since speed equals distance divided by time, the speed of sound equals 1,300 feet divided by 1.2 seconds, which is 1080, or about 1,100 feet per second.